Come on, shooter. Come on, shooter. <laughs> there it is. Oh! What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We're leaving for Orlando in a couple hours. We. We. And I wanted to open something for you guys. I told you guys to start sending me stuff to the shop and I'll open it on camera. And unfortunately you guys haven't sent anything to me so it's me opening my own box again. <laughs> Not lame. SpongeBob is the greatest. Really what it is is I just ordered way too many hats online. Is what it is. I've been meaning to talk to you about that. It's been way too many. Uh, I might wear this one. In this video, we're going to iDrive. We're going to Orlando. I gotta leave for the airport a couple hours. And this is the newest hat that I got in today. A little, little dark blue action. A little dark blue, the A's, Oakland. Americana patch on the side. A little focus stuff. Fire, fire. Fake with the fake diamonds on. That's the energy this weekend. Fake diamond energy this weekend. When you see Alex and you see fake diamonds, what does that make you think? You immediately think, wow, this kid's got it going on, or the complete opposite. This kid has no idea what the fuck's When you going see on. little man Jay with, with diamonds on, do you assume that they're real or fake? I assume that he might have made it. Like, he might have real diamonds on. But he could have fake ones on. He could also have fake ones. Same way, same place you're at in life. You could be, be having fake I, ones. I could be balling. Could be balling. Never know. <laughs> I'm definitely not gonna be walking around. 54k now. Yeah, probably, miss, yeah. Probably real balling. Nah, no. I do no. No, you want to know why? I'm, hold on. I'm gonna walk outside and show you something, and show you guys why I'm not balling. I'm not balling because I got a fat little transmission leak going on down here. I haven't driven my truck in like three days because I've been driving a customer's truck to make sure the tires don't shake. But I got. I come back. My transmission's already been getting a little weird the last couple weeks, and now I come back and I got a nice little, nice little transmission leak going down. So trust me, we ain't balling around here. Sadly, another goodbye from the shop it's been a good week with my old boy over there all transmission fluid on the ground freaking sucks daddy will be back soon i feel like it wasn't a successful trip on the weekends unless vic takes me to the airport you know i feel like it just it just starts the energy for the trip up there you know what i mean best valet driver in the side of mississippi well it's more of a it's, uh, i feel like it's more of a like a high class escort maybe valet a little truck. yeah like black yeah black truck uber yeah that's more what it's like you know it's the vibe I try to get him off. You exactly. Know? Yeah, yeah. I, I even get to sit up front. You know what I mean? Come on, man. He just he makes the experience just that much more top notch for me every time we go somewhere. One of these days, I'm gonna join you. I mean, I'll buy you a ticket. Let's go. Let's do it. I'll go right now. When I go, we might have to go to Miami next weekend. Miami next weekend. Ah. Oh. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to my look. I'm booking my flights at some point this weekend. We're going to Miami this weekend. That's why I said that. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. We got about an hour ride. We'll decide between now and then. We'll figure it out. You're amazing. Be safe, all right? Supposed to be coming in at? So we got dropped off at the show. Flight was okay. I slept the whole way, even though it got delayed like an hour and a half. It seems like I have terrible luck with flights and stuff right now, but it's pretty cool to be out here at night at the show because there's nobody out here. But you get to see all of the trucks set up for the show tomorrow. And it's actually almost like a weird feeling because you know all the booths are set up, but there's nobody out here and it's like completely dead and silent. It's kind of weird. Look at this thing. Plan B truck. That's actually really cool. Okay, 
Did he just ask him if he has to do number one or number two? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I said, what the fuck? This man just called to ask <laughs> if, if we could get bed sheets for the pull-out mattress. <laughs> yeah, he hates me down there. He's um, he's not liking me. There's one worker in this whole hotel right now. Yep. Downstairs. He does not like me. And he does not like Sammy right now. I just ruined his high. <laughs> Four. 440 in the morning. 440. That's what we on. It was actually a different lady, so we're good. So there's another person that works here tonight. Thank God. <laughs> Be out here. <laughs> and like wow trucks inside arcade go karts oh, this is dope wow wow it ain't redheads though yeah, you already that's, know that's all you I'm saying it, it ain't redheads though yeah we built this one there you go. what's up bro you doing alright I just asked uh, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna come back. Good to see you, all right? That's dope. We built that one at the shop. This is hot, like. Oh, sorry. That's dope. That's crazy. Made it to the booth. Sammy's truck looking good. Sammy, that truck, that truck's looking good, buddy. I don't know what's sexy or me or the truck anymore. It, it might be it might be you. It, it <laughs> might it might be you. <laughs> we got a nice little lineup at the Bobby's booth today. This is a new one. This is a new one. White and blue. 10 to 12 inch cradle kit. What we got? Ooh, on some forces. Okay. We got John and Tummins over here on the KG1s. Ooh, another one. Another one. On the Liberty Fours, that one's cool too. I like the silver a lot. The white and uh, beige. What 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 color would you say this is? What color would you say that is? Like beige, pink, peach. I don't know. The white and peach is cool. I 
I want to give a shout out to Josh from KG1 for sponsoring today's Gatorade. It's 12.30 and this is the first bit of liquid or food that I've had all day. And we're hanging out at the KG1 booth for a little while. Mullet. Oh, what Let me see the mullet. I gotta see it one time. One you time know, for the one time? Yeah, just remember oh, I still piss. Oh, excellent. Yes. It, yes. You didn't bring them out last time, so. No, I didn't. Because it was Atlantic City. You know, okay. we can't bring the leather uh, work out can't bring in Atlantic City. Leather. Too far from Texas? Too far from Texas. <laughs> Look at the freaking, yes, I love it. I love it. I gotta make sure bitches are clean it off, clean it off, clean it off. I feel like I can't really start the day off until I get something to eat. You crazy. So Josh told me that there's some, uh, there's a little taco spot right here on the back side of the show. You guys already know us with tacos. We're obsessed with yeah. tacos. I said, said the word tacos and Sammy's eyes lit up. So we're gonna <laughs> get something to eat. Hungry. It's I'm not, not a, hungry. It's not a good show video unless I do some kind of a food review for you guys. We're gonna do a quick little two minute food review and then we're gonna go take a look at some trucks. Got some tacos today. Let's see, is the green sauce spicy? Did you get some of the green sauce? I hope it's not spicy. Bro, that's fire. That is, boy. That's... God damn, that's hitting, bro. <laughs> We Hello. out here, baby. Hello. I drive Orlando. Hello. This guy, this guy didn't get here till like two o'clock. Gatorade number two on Josh, thank you. I'm just showing love to you in the video for the free Gatorade, thank you. I love you. Oh, come on. Gotta get a little bit of that curve. Come on, Sutton. Somebody gotta beat him. Come on, shooter. Come on, shooter. <laughs> there it is. Oh! BJ, like what's going on right now? For real. Wait, what do you mean? Like, what, what just we got, all we got the camera right the, here. Yo, why do you guys got cameras? Dude, this is a, a major collaboration going on right now. Bro. <laughs> and, wait, what is your name? What is your name? Me and Dickie and that girl with the big truck. With the track? With the track. <laughs> all right, I got a question. How did you curb the track? How did I curb? Oh, come here for a second. Come here for a second. He says you curb the track. I don't know. Oh, I did. I hit yeah. It's been raining on and off most of the afternoon. There's no better time to take a look at some of the pop new Poppies kits that are out here right now. So we got this F-250 down here. It's like a silver color match silver. PJ did a video on this one at Music City last week. And I really love the silver color, obviously because I have a silver, silver truck. This one's got a blue and chrome 10 to 12 inch Poppies Cradle kit with the King Shocks all the way around, color matched axles. It's just a beautiful truck. This is John, it's a Tummins. He's out of uh, the Florida Panhandle. Like I said, he's got this peach color on KG1s. He did a great job on this one. The white and peach is beautiful. And then if I'm if I'm not mistaken, this is the newest one to the fleet. This one's like a white and royal blue almost. Got the King Coilovers, 10 to 12 inch Poppy's Cradle kit. Chrome face plates or layovers, American Forces. I'm a big fan of this one. The white's clean. I kind of like the silver more though. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. the same so I can't speak but as far as I know this rap is a show rap so it's only made to be trailer to shows it cannot attain any dirt what happens is once the dirt comes in if you feel it it's like sandpaper so what happens is yeah. the dirt stays can be pressure cleaned or degreasered out so it's literally only made to be taken to shows and not get dirty but super hard the socks wrap the same color Dude, that is sick. That is sick. That is sick. Mm -hmm. I guess you can see the sparkle in it, yeah. That's it. I don't know. The 
camera camera does it justice too. That's that's cool. This is this has got to be my favorite truck out here for sure. Really? 30 by 16 axe. I mean, not a lot of people are running axe forge to begin with. Venom's Venom's is killing it right now. To be honest, I don't know what kind of lift kit it is. Enigma. It looks like a resurrected kit, but it's got obviously something got on the side. Shout out to uh, Next Level Matt. I'm in love with it. That's first cool. of all, this whole air ride. That's cool, yeah. This is a nice air ride kit, but the fact that the shocks are wrapped, kind of hard. I want to wrap with the shocks. Bringing trucks to shows like this are what's different to me. Like, have you seen the truck with the, uh, with the, it's got Louis V engraved on it? Yeah. That I one, yeah, that, that one's cool. If you do something like that, it's different. Super unpopular opinion. Did a frame off, why not cut the shock? You said y'all, what, you would cut that off? Yeah, you cut this off and weld it nice, but then I, I, I don't want to cut the frame off. Like if you're doing a frame off, you cut Might as well off cut it off. off. Yeah, I mean, that's something I would have never thought about, to be honest. Yeah, I, the little spikes on here, that's cool. You like the spikes? I do. I kind of like the spikes. Oh, well, the bumper, though? I got to wrap this bumper. The bumper? Oh, wow. Oh, bro, you'll like a certain part of this. The that's dope. The headlights have them wrap, too. Really? Oh, let's see. Got the door speakers too. That's dope. Starlight kit. He's got it in the headlights too. Yeah, that's definitely that's my favorite truck for sure. This was worth the this was worth the the trip by itself to be honest. Y'all go show some love. Hang on, focus. Y'all go show some love to the Instagram. That's dope. Something? Yeah, yeah, you gotta sign your life away. Oh, great. All right. But I mean, how much are you worth living? I mean, I'm not worth much more than 54,000 subscriber YouTube channel, so I don't however much that's worth monetarily. Everywhere you go. <laughs> <laughs> Shh, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. This is for
didn't know you meant all the way in the back like that. Yeah. Oh, God. How else do you get in here? It's not raining, so you don't have to close this if you don't want to. Yeah. Right. Oh, jeez. Hey, okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Hey, Mike, you want to get in here? I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh. Hey, uh, can, I, can I get a price on some tires? <laughs> Do you want to hurry back? Hey, can I get a price on some tires while I take a sleep? Absolutely. I yeah? need 265, uh, 35, 18s. Absolutely. Yeah. I need 14 of them. Send it to my email and I'll get back to you as soon as Monday rolls around. Awesome. Uh, I'll, I'll call you when I wake up. Anything for you. Thank you, sir. To the shows is always cool but the setup day and the teardown day is always my favorite because there's less people here there's no spectators and you kind of get a chance to just film a bunch of trucks without really being bothered so i want to take a little bit of time and show you all some of my my favorites from the show my favorite chevys obviously we got a set of uh, jtx jtx is on this chevy over here with the mcgoy's kit like a lime green mcgoy's kit which is really cool silver truck gotta show love to the silver truck with the mcgoy's kit obviously to show you guys so i know that the glitter one that i showed you earlier in the video i said was my favorite this one because i work at a shop i understand how expensive it is to build a truck like this just the lift kit alone with all the chrome it's an 18 inch fts lift just the lift kit alone is upwards of 30 to 35 thousand depending on what shop you get it at right that's not including wheels and tires which is 30 by 16 jtx's which are not cheap and a 42 inch fury again which is not cheap but i think the only reason why i like the other one better is because i really like the glitter on it it's different but i've been following this guy on instagram for a little while and this is a really really nice truck looks like a frame off 2021 to 2022 body style gmc with the 18 inch all chrome fts lift that's the biggest torsion drop that i've ever seen in my entire life biggest cross member i've ever seen too these lift kits are so expensive I can only imagine how much it costs to build a truck like he's probably got 50,000 no he's probably got 60 70 in this truck between all the the dual reservoirs the lift kit the wheels tires wrap let me know what you guys think it's a beautiful truck i think the only reason i like the other one better is because it's glitter and it's just it's just that different but i really like this truck this is i would drive the hell out of something like this i know i'm wearing a kg1 shirt but i wanted to shout out the guys at jtx for hooking your boy up i got three shirts and a hat today what are you doing buddy bro, one day i'll be like alex and be in the sky you know bro dreams come true PJ, that's all i'm saying dreams come true obviously the rain's been messing up the rest of the show day but this one over here is freaking crazy isn't it that gold color the white and gold is beautiful it's more of like a copper color with the kg1 when was the last time i had brian on the channel that's that's a good moment right there that's a good moment right there that's all i'm saying look look so not only did i wake up this morning go on a helicopter ride i got brian in the video today and now we're driving ed Amani's dually on a poppy's lift today it's a good day it's a good day that's all i'm saying it's good to Good, good, good to see you. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> let's, let's, let's go get something to eat. It's the greatest day of my life when I get Brian to drop me off. To drop me off while well, I can't talk today at the airport. We got to drive around in a 12-inch lifted unfitment fitting <laughs> at 450. Awesome. Now he's dropping me off at the airport. So, Brian, love you. Just want you to know that. Let's get his breath.